allegations of sexual abuse inside a Minnesota school. It's the latest in a string of charges against a prestigious prep school. Also tonight, the shooting of a Minneapolis police officer. For From your 24-hour news station, this is Paul Majors, Pat Miles, Jeff Passel, and meteorologist Paul Douglas. And this is CARE 11 News at 6. Good evening. Several years ago, a young man revealed what he called a dark secret. It involved allegations of sexual abuse inside St. John's Prep School in Collegeville. Today, another victim stepped forward, claiming a monk molested him inside the school. This is the fourth lawsuit filed against uh, a monk at St. John's Abbey. The cases date from 1981 through 1986. Carol Evans' Dennis Doffer talked to the man making this latest accusation. I want people to know that, that there is a face and then there is a story and there is a human being behind this. And John Orange today became the latest alleged victim to publicly claim sexual abuse by a monk at St. John's Preparatory School in Collegeville. Any function of my life has been affected. Uh, relationship disruption, complete lack of uh, normal concepts of relationships. John's charges are against Father Alan Tarleton. They follow other charges of sexual abuse against Brother John Kelly and allegations from two separate victims against Father Dunstan Morse. Pat was the first St. John student to come forward two years ago with allegations against Father Morse. St. John's has not told the truth. Uh, a lot of the truth is now coming out because of the work that I've done and that other people have done. It was Pat who tracked down John and a long list of other alleged victims of up to five St. John's monks and two lay employees. If you're talking about misconduct by a priest or a teacher in a school setting, there's over 30. You're talking about overt acts? How many? 15, 20, maybe more. St. John says it's trying to respond. It's a very difficult uh, situation and we're trying to do what we can to um, address ourselves to the issues, to the problems. Since 1989, St. John's has had a policy for dealing with accusations of abuse by monks. But as critics say, the real problem is a failure to report in the first place. That monastic traditions, such as the Order of St. Benedict's, instead foster a resounding silence. Jeff Anderson is the attorney who filed the suit. It continues to be a problem. Right up to the present day. To the present day. By going public about their experiences, John and Pat say they're determined to break the silence. Dennis Stauffer, CARE 11 News, Collegeville. Pat's lawsuit was just settled on Friday. By agreement, the exact terms cannot be disclosed, but he says that in addition to a monetary settlement, it requires St. John's to deal with the problem of abuse. Longer teaching classes there at the prep school after accusations of sexual abuse. One of the monks is named in a civil suit filed just today. The suit claims a student at St. John's prep school was sexually abused by his teacher 10 years ago. Scott Reynolds joins us now live from Collegeville. He has more on today's accusations. Well, Don, this latest suit is just one of five already filed, and according to the attorney of the alleged victims, he says he's already talked with many more men who say they were victims of sexual abuse here on the St. John's campus, and that more suits implicating more monks are sure to come. Just another day of school for students here at St. John's University, but one of the alleged victims says these students would be shocked to know how much sexual abuse has occurred on this campus. No way should they think, well, that's a single incident. What they could probably think is that not only did Father Alan Tarleton abuse this student in today's lawsuit, but perhaps that same week, two other people were being abused, and perhaps that same day, two other people may have been abused at that school. So far, all the suits target the St. John's Prep School, or high school, here at the campus in Collegeville. Three monks have already been stopped from teaching as a precautionary move by the university. Part of its sexual abuse policy started in 1989. The allegations have shocked and saddened the close-knit St. Benedictine order of monks who've devoted their lives to this school. And so it's very difficult for us to say, um, we'll pick you out and uh, we don't want to see the likes of you again. Uh, we, we try to blend justice and compassion and, and that's, that's difficult. Yeah. Attorney Jeff Anderson says it's his clients who've had the difficult time dealing with what happened to them on this campus in the early 80s. The range of sexual molestation runs the gamut from the most explicit to the more subtle. 
And the alleged victim you heard from was from Minnesota, but the one involving the suit filed today, the last of five, is from Texas. We'll hear from him in a satellite interview coming up tonight in our news at 10, Don. Thank you very much, Scott Reynolds, reporting from Collegeville. A Ramsey County jury is deliberating. To get more on the details, we want to switch now to Scott Reynolds, who's standing by live from the campus. Scott. Don, this latest suit is one of five already filed in the past two and a half years alleging sexual abuse of minors here at the St. John's campus. And already, three teachers have been pulled from the classrooms as a result of these allegations, all three of those teachers from the prep school here for high school age students. And the attorney in this case says this is just the tip of the iceberg. Is that we have information that implicates uh, many other monks and uh, priests and brothers at that school and in that culture. And there have already been a number of other victims that have reported that information to us. Anderson says he settled more than 150 cases involving sexual abuse in the Catholic Church, about half of those in Minnesota. The five cases already filed concerning St. John's allegedly happened in the early 80s. Some students say it happens more than you think. Others say no more here than anywhere else. The lawsuits hit the core of this campus, the order of St. Benedictine monks who work and live here. We are shocked, we're saddened, we're pained, we're grieved. Um, it's difficult for us to, to understand this. Uh, we uh, abhor the, the sexual abuse and sexual exploitation, exploitation uh, wherever it happens. Father Durkin talked about the brotherhood among the monks here and how difficult it is to mix justice with compassion. Attorney Jeff Anderson says all too often that compassion leads to silence in these cases. We should point out as well that in 1989, the St. John's Abbey formed a policy when a monk has been accused of sexual abuse or sexual exploitation, and that policy includes uh, some psychoanalysis uh, of the alleged uh, perpetrator, and that has been going on now for the past three years. And again, three teachers have been pulled from the classroom, and that's where it stands now. The first uh, trial in this case, if it does go to trial, would take place on sometime next spring, and that would happen in St. Cloud. All right, now, Scott, uh, we have heard uh, Jeff Anderson, the attorney in this case, uh, speak of uh, civil uh, charges and civil suits. Uh, any indication that what he has, the information that he says he has, may result in criminal charges? At this point, we don't know that, but he does say that these cases can be taken to court even though they are 10 years old, some of them not quite so old, he says, the cases that will be coming because uh, Minnesota state law allows for that because sometimes sexual abuse victims don't speak out for many years. Scott Reynolds reporting from school. We're going to with Don Shelby and Cindy Hilger. We'll have tips to lessen your chances of being attacked Wednesday morning at 9 here on Carol 11 News Today. From your 24-hour news station, this is Paul Majors, Diana Pierce, Jeff Passelt, and meteorologist Paul Douglas. And this is CARE 11 News at 10. Also, disturbing news about the quality of water in American homes and your risks of drinking too much lead. Also, new sex abuse allegations against yet another monk at St. John's Preparatory School from St. John's Abbey in Collegeville is facing sexual abuse allegations tonight from a former student. A lawsuit filed in Stearns County accuses Father Alan Tarleton of sexually assaulting and molesting a male student. Two other monks are facing similar allegations. Pat was the first victim to come forward. He spent the past two years looking for other alleged victims. If you're talking about misconduct, by a priest or a teacher in a school setting, there's over 30. You're talking about overt acts? How many? 15, 20, maybe more. Officials from St. John say they're deeply troubled by the complaints. They say they're doing their best to help the victims and the monks who are accused. Minnesota may be Catholic prep school accused teachers of sexual abuse. And do you want companies selling sex to sell products to your children? Straight to the point. Stay with us. To this one, primetime coffee. Mark Sapelsa. Meteorologist Dave Dahl. Joe Schmidt with sport. Your tax dollars are also at the center of a controversy. So the governor and lottery board can settle their differences. 
New allegations of sexual abuse have been leveled at a Minnesota prep school, and more may be on the way. The victims say they were abused by some of the men they trusted most. Carrie Miller has been following the story and joins us now with the details. Carrie? Well, Stan, as of today, St. John Prep School has been hit with five civil lawsuits alleging sexual abuse by priests, but the attorney handling the cases says this goes beyond just a few bad apples. St. John Prep School is tight-knit and isolated. The air of solitude is fostered by the old world buildings and tall swaying trees. But it's a place attorney Jeff Anderson says harbors sexual abuse, scandal, even a secret society. When something happens, they all keep the secret. They therefore don't break the silence, don't report it, and don't do anything about it. I was numb. I was scared. I was frightened. I couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do anything. So I, I, I didn't volunteer, I just, I just froze, and he was able to do whatever he wanted to me. This man and, who didn't uh, want his name that, used has waited more than 20 me. years to speak out about the molestation he says went on for months at St. John's behind a church altar. John Ard, who filed a civil lawsuit against the school today, says he was molested by a father, Alan Tarleton. I felt that I would go along with anything that he wanted me to do. And it was, he was, I trusted him. So far, Anderson has filed five lawsuits against St. John's, but more could be coming. We have also received information that there are at least six other Monksville brothers who have engaged in similar conduct, and that there are at least, by our identification, uh, at least um, uh, eight other victims who have been similarly molested. Meanwhile, the victims struggle. It would be, be a lot easier yeah. to accept what happened and to to uh, to get through the healing process faster and to, to forgive if he would just admit to the truth the school just revised its sexual abuse policy last friday it includes an investigation by the abbot when allegations are made intervention with the monk that is involved and financial assistance for the victims for counseling all right thank you Karen. Mm -hmm. after nine hours of deliberation still no verdict tonight in the trial of 15 with Don Shelby and Colleen Needle. This is the 10 o'clock news on Channel 4. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brad Gooden tonight for Don Shelby. ...involving Catholic priests, this time at a prestigious private university in central Minnesota. Scott Reynolds has the story from St. John's in Collegeville. The sexual abuse allegedly occurred at St. John's Prep School, connected to the main university. In all, five suits have been filed by men who say they were abused in the early 80s. The latest suit came today from this man, who described his relationship with a priest. Uh, as we became more close, uh, we became, I became more of a friend and confidant and going beyond a student and teacher relationship. And during this time, uh, I was sexually abused by that priest. We are shocked, we're saddened, we're pained, we're grieved. Um, it's difficult for us to, to understand this. The monastery here houses about 250 monks who've devoted their lives to the St. Benedictine order. About 25 of them are teachers. Already, three teachers have been taken out of the classroom here at St. John's Prep School, those teachers named in the suits. It's a precautionary move taken by the Abbey here as part of its sexual abuse policy started back in 1989. Students here had mixed reactions to the sexual abuse allegations. I think it happens a lot. I think that uh, it happens a lot more than people think. It's over-publicized, I think, when Catholic priests do it. It's behind the walls if, if it is out there, because it's not something they want, want out in the public. But much more could become public soon. The attorney handling the sexual abuse complaints says he's preparing lawsuits for many more former St. John students who say they, too, were sexually abused by priests. In Collegeville, Scott Reynolds, WCCO Television News. There are no criminal charges expected out of the allegations in those lawsuits because all of the allegations made so far happened at least 10 years ago and the statute of limitations has run out. Around the Twin Cities tonight... Park, you, made, you likewise made a, a Broadway debut in, in uh, Neil Simon's...